world and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. I am recording this voiceover on November 1st, so that's where we are with life. I'm running late. There's just, life is a lot, you know, life is a lot. I feel like some folks during the pandemic got hit early on or they got hit in the middle and realistically, this is probably still the middle, but it's like the late middle or like the mid middle. Yeah, I completely lost that as I was saying it, but like I'm feeling it and it's a lot and I'm doing my best and that's what's important, right? Okay. So that was a whole, whole lot of, of something that I just did right there. Let's talk about my bullet journal theme for November. The theme that I have gone with, as you may have seen in the title, is this like cozy cabin theme. I started from a place of wanting to do a hige theme, or I, I know that that's not how you pronounce it, but it is close as I am able to approximate the pronunciation of that word, um, which is a theme that has been on my like theme bucket list for a very long time. And this isn't quite that, it, it's not, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit more my own tastes, uh, too far into my own tastes, I would say, for me to feel comfortable trying to claim that it is Hige. But just, this is, this is what I was thinking about. It's like a cozy cabin in the woods, lots of, lots of cozy things, which is certainly inspired by Hige, but is not, you know, like a technical definition. Hige, maybe, I don't know. I liked this idea of a cozy cabin in the woods, and that's what I went with. Um, this was heavily inspired by a few things. Um, one was, of course, a plant-based bride. She did a Hige theme for November 2019. I will leave that linked in the description if you want to go and check it out. This is also inspired by, um, I've been listening to these like ambiance videos on YouTube. What is the channel called? Calmed by Nature, I think. And they have this one, which is like a cozy cabin. It's like rain outside a cozy cabin at night. And that is what inspired this sort of vignette <laughs> calendar page that I am putting together here. Uh, I, I wanted this fireplace and like a window so you could see that it was nighttime and feel that like cozy cabin vibe. And the, the calendar... I've done a list calendar again and I put it so it's like it's inside a book. So you're sitting, reading a book by the fire, looking out at the at the rain or at the night from this cozy cabin. I really hope that that makes sense. That's that's what I've gone with for this page. <laughs> and I did my actual calendar because having something visual to like know where the days are placed in the month is extremely helpful for me. I am one of those people. And over here is the uh, quote book that will be my monthly log, I suppose, to write down events and stuff. And I, I goofed it a little bit. I forgot that I didn't need 16 on one side. November only has 30 days that's fine. I just have got a couple of extra spaces at the end to fill in extra stuff if I need it, or like a note or two, I suppose. November is a very special month for me. I love fall. Uh, it's my birthday month, and I also love Thanksgiving. I have a very complicated love-hate relationship with Thanksgiving. I mostly love it, but I also recognize there's a lot of systemic issues with that particular holiday and a lot that doesn't get talked about and recognized about the atrocities my my caucasian brethren have subjected to the people who are supposed to be on this land <laughs> um so yeah november is a november is a very very big month for me and i wanted a theme that made me feel very very cozy and very at home and also very inspired to journal and plan and read um, i've got a lot of reading planned this month and december so yeah 
Uh, as you can see here, I'm filling in some color for the fireplace. Uh, somehow, I, I like got a bunch of stickers for this spread, and somehow I had it in my head that oh, I have all of these stickers now. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna have to feel pressured to like do a whole lot of doodles or drawings or all of that stuff Which of course you should never feel pressured to do anything in your own bullet journal. This is just like me and myself pressuring me uh, and Even with that thought I still managed to do a very illustration heavy doodle heavy and uh, Coloring and marker heavy theme and I absolutely love it. I love it. It's, it's, you'll see, I did some nice plaid later on. I'm, I'm feeling that fall vibe. <laughs> uh, the only thing that I did not end up doing on this page was coloring in the background, what, what is ostensibly the wall. And I might do that. I don't know. I'm still considering. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should fill in the wall or just, just leave it as it is and not mess with what I've done. <laughs> um, I do, even if you're not into like ambiance videos, I do encourage you to check out the Call My Nature video that I linked. It's just the, the imagery just really feels yeah. like what I wanted to encapsulate in this theme. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So here is the return for anyone who's been here for a while, which I recognize is probably like just me. Um, it is the return of that midnight blue Crayola super tip marker. I love this color so much. It's so, do I even have the words to describe it? I don't think that I do. But when I, when I realized like, ah, this is the perfect color to fill in the night sky. It's like, yes, it is the return. It feels like coming home somehow. I don't even like blue that much. Like I like blue fine, but it's not my favorite color, you know? I don't know. Oh, fun fact. Um, I had to film this over a couple of days because life. So there's a couple of points, you, you might've already caught it, um, where my head dips into the frame and you can see my hair. Uh, between day one of filming this and uh, day two of filming this, I dyed my hair. Uh, so look forward to that in a video at some point in my life. Um, so my hair like inexplicably glows from the natural dark blonde, whatever you want to call it, to a new color. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give the fireplace, the bricks in the fireplace, some degree of texture. So I've outlined in this like very classical brick red super tip. And as you can see, I'm doing this like very messy, patchy coloring in with a very warm medium brown. And then going back over again with that brick red. And I don't know if it shows up on camera super well, but I, I like the effect on the page. It's very nice. And here are the stickers that I was talking about. As usual, as with all of the supplies that I use in my setups, I will leave the links for the Etsy shops and hopefully the specific sticker sheets, assuming they're not sold out. I don't think they will be in the description. I always try and leave as much information in the description as possible. That's always where I go to see what supplies and uh, various stationary and miscellaneous items people use in their bullet journal setups. So I try and do that. It is always my goal to provide the kind of information that I would want to have from a video. <laughs> and I'm doing something a little, a little scary. Uh, I wanted, because as you can see, like this is a very illustrative vignette uh, for my monthly page, but I still needed to have that space for my goals. So I decided to do this thing. I guess you would call it a Dutch door. I don't, I don't know what a technical term for this would be, but I have trimmed the page a little bit. So the page of the book, that is my monthly log, folds over. And then I've created this little patch by cutting out a, a chunk from a later page in my bullet journal and gluing it in to like fill in the page underneath. 
and that section will be where I can fill in my goals. Hopefully all of that makes sense. You can kind of get it visually. I see this, the, the page now folds over and underneath is a blank space where I can fill in some information. Um, and I, I <laughs> unpopular opinion, I don't like stamps. I'm perfectly happy for anyone else in the world to use stamps if they make you happy. Um, I don't like stamps, using stamps myself, I never have really. So I got stickers that look like stamps, <laughs> just for the aesthetic. Um, and this does make the back page a little wonky, but I'm not super worried about that because that uh, couple of blank pages back there is for a readathon spread, which um, I'm looking at it right now as I record this voiceover and look forward to that. I I love it a lot. It's real exciting. Anyway, moving on to the next spread that we have here. This is going to be, on the left side is a work schedule for my spouse and on the right side is the return of the spending tracker. And in the background here, I have done this warm tone, messy plaid and ooh, I love it. This plaid is also inspired by, oh geez, I don't remember the name of the Bujo tuber, but I will leave that linked in the description. It's the same person who I saw do the shaker window, if you may recall. Um, same video, actually, <laughs> the background that she did for a shaker window was this plaid. And uh, both of those things stuck in my head as soon as I saw them. And I did the shaker window and now I'm doing the plaid and I love it. The, the work schedule for my spouse, just to explain that a little bit. So my spouse is a, a freelance worker, ostensibly he works for a small business and his schedule shifts month to month. And what I've found is in the time period that is quarantine, I have been struggling to remember what his schedule is because it changes month to month. So I've, I've created this spread so that I can mark down the, the days and times that he is working. And it, as far as the spending tracker goes, this came back. I didn't, I haven't been buying a huge amount of stuff, but I am foreseeing doing more spending and like planned spending as we approach that end of year holiday season. And I get more in gear with everything that I love, cold and holidays that I love and like loving my family and my friends and just all of that business. So that's, that's what we've got here on this two page spread. The only thing that I do kind of wish is that I had lined up the plaid so it continued across the pages instead of the being sort of offset on each page, but it's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And realistically, like, I love looking at these pages so much. They're so warm and cozy, which feels very, very, very weird to say about a piece of paper, but like, you feel me? And I'm very excited to start using these. Uh, I have also left some space you can see at the bottom of the calendar in case I need to add in a key. I don't think that I will, but I wanted that space just in case I needed to get more detail. Because as you can see, this is a pretty small calendar, so I can't write a lot of detail in there. So that's, that's what that is. Next spread we have is my workout and habit tracker. Doing a few more habits this month. I've been actually pretty good at keeping up with my trackers. I think because they're connected to something that's very uh, concrete and very like regular, like a routine, it's, it's helped me. It's not just like, okay, I wanna track how much coffee I'm drinking or like not drinking coffee or something. It's something much more specific and concrete, which is helpful for me. And that was it. That was that was it. I'm leaving the workout tracker blank because I just I'm just gonna print that out and paste it in. Next up here I have another page of plaid. This is just a straight plaid 
background and this is going to be the page for my memory keeping which if you happen to be new here or i think i just haven't mentioned it in a while i like to print out pictures of my kid every month um i'll also sometimes make little notes i used to do a lot more uh logging and like note taking for the memory keeping but at this point I just I just paste in pictures every month so I can see how they've grown, how they've changed. Um, so I like to keep this page really simple, just a space where I can paste in some pictures at the end of the month. And then on the left side here is going to be my gratitude log and mood tracker. I've been doing so much better with my gratitude log through October. I, I was doing okay in August, fumbled a little bit in September, and I'm doing really great in October. And I'm, I'm looking forward to filling this November one out. I did another sort of little cozy vignette. This is a uh, window shelf type of deal. It's like a, a window built into, or a bookcases built around a window. And then a little section at the bottom for the gratitude log. And then my, my the actual, Items for my mood are going to be these books on the shelves. So it's going to look, I hope, really, really cute and cozy by the end of the month when it's all filled in. And I had not intended to do this. Um, I sort of made a mistake and I drew too many books, but it worked out perfectly because there were just enough books left to add in the key for my mood tracker. So I could say I did it on purpose but I didn't. It was just an accident that worked out well. And I didn't mess up on the days. I only did 15 on each side, so I got that one right at least. <laughs> um, yeah, do I have anything else to say about this spread? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I'm just... It's been such a nice autumn, which is a very strange contrast to, like, the rest of 2020 being what it has been the the weather in my area for autumn has been just literally perfect it's like just cold enough it's crisp there's been enough rain that the leaves are turning very gently it's pretty idyllic which just seems i don't know if i'd go so far as to call it ironic but it definitely seems strange and once again, filling in through the window with that nice midnight blue. Here I've got a couple of printouts for two of the readathons I am participating in in November. Stay tuned for a TBR video and da 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 da, small announcement. I'm gonna be doing some reading vlogs through November. So stay tuned for that. How successful will I be? Who can say? And something that worked out really, really well from last month was filling in a few pages to have them ready for my daily logs. So just doing some collaging on uh, two or three spreads so that I didn't have to take the time. Oh, there you saw, there you saw my new hair. So exciting. <laughs> so I didn't have to take the time later on to set up a new, uh, spread every time I needed to to flip the page as it were which of course you, you don't like you you can just do a bullet journal straight in any notebook all you need is a pen and a piece of paper but I am really encouraged by having something visual to look at and engage with so that's something that's helpful for me and it's a nice creative exercise which is part of why I took the time to do this setup over two days so I didn't have to like rush or feel stressed about it. I could just take my time and oh, I am really, really loving the uh, collages and, and sort of mini setups that I have done on these pages. They're so warm and cozy and I love the color palette and I just, I am ready for November. I am ready to enjoy everything about November. As you can see, I'm using a lot of brown paper here. The brown paper that I'm using is actually from a package that I got. It's the, the packing that came in. Uh, I bought some stuff from the Amanda Rachel shop and hi, hello. Pause for toddler there. Anyway, what I was saying, um, 
The brown paper that I have here is from an Amanda H. Lee package that I ordered. Uh, it came with like this big long thing of paper to like pack the things in the box. And I was like, aha, I know what I can use this for. <laughs> And here, please appreciate my struggle and then just giving up on trying to rip a piece of paper out in the right shape. Uh, one, one method that I like to use if I want a rough edge on something but I don't want it to be really chaotic, um, I want to sort of control it and have it be straight. If you press a ruler down on a piece of paper and then rip up, you get that uh, ripped edge, but it's, it's a lot straighter and it's a lot more even. It's not perfect, but just a, a quick tip from me to you. <laughs> this is not a channel that you go to for inspiration or tips and tricks. This is, this is just the chaos that is my mind. The pictures that I'm using, I've got a lot of supplies here. Could you tell? The pictures I'm using are mostly from Unsplash, which I actually learned about from a Bojo tuber. I think it was Mary Berry Studios. I don't remember. Um, but it's this, it's a really nice, uh, free stock website. They've got some fabulous, fabulous pho photography there. Um, but some of these are also just generally from the internet, which is not ideal, but do, do what you gotta do. And then stickers, are these from Wish? Are these stickers from Wish? I don't remember. It's like, it's, it's the washy type of stickers that you can get at a lot of different places online. AliExpress, Wish. You could probably find, uh, you could find these on Etsy. I'm very confident. I think I've seen these on Etsy. Just all kinds of things. Uh, it was a goal of mine to try and orient my theme so that I could use some of the supplies that I already had. And here we have the final flip through. I hope that you have enjoyed. I'm really excited about this little book thing. Would you call that a Dutch door? I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Comment down below with your November theme. If you keep a bullet journal, if not, just, you know, feel free to say hi. I hope that, um, that the fourth quarter of 2020 is progressing along easily for you. Nice and smooth, a little bit less drama. Um, stay tuned, like I said, for a TBR video for what I will be reading in November. I have already recorded a bullet journal setup for my TBR spreads. You can look forward to that. I'll be doing some reading vlogs throughout the month of November, all kinds of fun stuff. Is it going to get up on any sort of regular schedule? Who knows? I will do my best. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.